Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day to you. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to another video, guys. If you're new to the channel, my name's Josh. This is my friend Terry. Four hours sleep, Terry. Four hours of sleep, Terry. I can't see you because of the sunlight, Terry. That's there what it go. is. There we go. Four hours of sleep, Terry. <laughs> Today, we're going to get busy making these cars look a little better. Oh, Terry, what are you doing again? Spending money. <laughs> that makes sense. So, it went through though. In the last, <laughs> it went through. <laughs> in the last video, I told you guys I was gonna be cleaning up this bar, and that's exactly what I intend to do today. Also, the top rad support section and the ABS module. Of course, you can't see none of that because the goddamn hood's closed. Carbon fiber looks good though. It does, but it's dirty as. Still look good. Yeah, you're right. Especially like right here. Man, ain't nothing better than the shine on the carbon fiber in the sunlight. Look at that. Oh. Uh. What are we doing to your car today? Type S side skirts. Oh yeah, that's right. Type S side skirts. All right, guys. So let's get to work. metallic black this is the stuff that terry uses and uh i ain't gonna lie shit looks good as fuck on his car so i was like yo terry need that paint code <laughs> so the bar is it's not perfect because obviously we don't we don't have industrial sanders or anything to get real deep into it but it is a lot better than what it was prime I was about to have a first layer of coat, uh, first coat of paint on it. Let's go. Oh my god, the metallic flake, I just see it. Yeah, <laughs> that shit looks so good. Obviously, first coat not gonna be heavy. Dust it. Second coat starts to get heavier. Yeah, no, it looks so much better already. It does, doesn't it? Oh. 
All I see is like metallic flakes. <laughs> around in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you only bought one can too, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I'm not going that heavy. This is a full can. I have to stretch it out. You could put it like on this. Once this is done, this bar should never be coming off again. Uh, should, I said should. Uh, it's a cooler. <laughs> okay, maybe one more time. <laughs> That's right, I am going supercharged. That shit looks so good. <laughs> That's looking magical right now. It really is. Awesome. And remember, this is just the first coat. Oh shit, I sprayed it in the can. Yeah, that's gonna look good. What you doing? I'm trying to take this off. This is being mad annoying. You look like you're struggling. Kind of. I have a method. Peel on the outside and then kind of, you know. You know. Rip up. But it's just like this knife, every time I push, it kind of like retracts. So, yeah, I'm struggling. I still got one more to do. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this was the, it was the um, the clear PPF that was on that edge to protect it from rock chips. I guess it's just been on here for so long. Yeah, it's hard to come off. And Keep then, and then after that, get ready for some sanding. Yeah, yeah, that VTEC gotta go. Color gotta go. Yep. We're gonna be painting these side skirts ourselves. So we gotta make sure it's nice and prepped. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. It's satisfying until it breaks. <laughs> they kinda have to like peel it and then like move to somewhere else. See? Mm. Yeah. Cause if you try going full force, it's just gonna snap. Like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. It's not like body shop 100% perfect because clearly we're not body shop technicians. But yo, it's coming out really good. Okay. If I say so myself. What about you? So far, so good. All this adhesive's coming off. So all I gotta do is just sand it more. Oh, and finally, the V tack is off. The V tack. No more V tacks. Yep. That means his car doesn't pop. Still pops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, here's an update. Look at that. The lighting is A1 right now, pointing right at it. That metallic flake is crazy. Terrence, I'm so glad you showed me this color. <laughs> Got the radiator clips right there and the bar. Okay, everything that. <laughs> yeah. Shit, don't play because come summertime, I might pull the motor and paint the whole bay. It's actually a sick color. Yeah. How you coming along? Number two. <laughs> I got the first one done. I don't even know where I put it. Oh, it's over there. It's ready to paint. This one's ready to paint. Um, and I still have to wait for the JV well to dry on. We aren't these painting these too. today, guys, because he does have to get the paint color match. So, I'm but, still struggling with this for protective film. Yeah. But, even though it's not getting painted today, it's better to have it prepped and ready. 
Yeah. That's so that. when it comes paint time, it's just straight up painting. Yeah, that's why I want to get this film off because it's, such, it's so annoying trying to get it off. Yeah. VTech stuff came off easy, but it's just this old protective film that's just being a headache. Yeah. You know, so I'd rather get it done today and not have to worry about it later. True. And luckily for me, Terry brought the heat gun, so I'm speeding up the process like significantly. Um, there you go. See, it's already dry, dry to the touch. Like I'm about to start unwrapping all this crap and putting everything back together. Progress is being done. I'm happy how it's going so far. That color looks insane, and I can't wait to see it with everything off completely. It's gonna completely change your engine, baby. It's gonna look so much better. The eyesore, the most, the, like the biggest eyesore that we had on this car was those two pieces right there. The rust was just incredibly ugly. Um, I did a no fucks given moment, and Terry laughed at me because he was like, What about that bottom bar? And I was just like, Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I literally just took the paint and sprayed it. I don't care. It covered it up and it looks decent. No yeah. fucks given. Not like people are going to be all in there anyway. Exactly. So. My point is that once I get the bumper and put the bumper on, no rust is visible from the grills or the openings. That's, that's the whole point for there. And then when I pop the bay, it looks presentable because... I kind of want to run no plastics, no engine bay plastics. I have all the plastics. I just don't want to run them. So I still might. You might I'll, at least the ones around, because I now I have that the clear effects color. Oh yeah, that that would be sick. That's why I got it. Yeah, check this out, guys. This is Terry's new pickup. I should try it. spray it on this. Uh, looks sick. Spray it on this to see how it looks. I don't know how well you guys could pick this up. Oh, there it goes. You see that? That's that clear effects can you see that sparkle oh it looks like crystals yep it goes right on top of the the base coat so you're gonna end up painting the plastics and spraying that on top of the color yeah nice or if anything yeah or if anything i just clean the plastics up and then just spray that on top of it or at least make it black it already is black it's just dirty oh well yeah you're right <laughs> Clean it up and get it that nice sheen. Yeah. And then uh, spray that. That would be gonna sick. I'm going to do it up because I'm going to at least keep the one around the edge on the outside. Yeah. Because the engine one's coming off, the battery one's already off, and then that front one is staying on too. See, I can't do that because I have the uh, Downstar hardware. Yeah, I know. It'll just cover it up. And then there would be like no point in why I even bought that, you know? Yeah. So. Please so give it to me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's, uh... Let's get to pulling this crap off and I'll give you guys an update once it's put together. She looking good. What you think, Terry? What you think? Way better than it was. Way better, right? If I open up the freaking the hood, it's not a freaking eyesore, right? Well, that's also awesome because you don't got any plastics on it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so. But it looks so much better. Look at the freaking shine in that and the sparkle. Damn. Honestly, I really think that when I go to paint the engine bay, that's the color I'm choosing. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, look at my ABS module. It's not so ugly anymore. It ain't perfect because I can't take it out or remove the lines, but much better. Oh my god. Yo, honestly, I used to hate put, uh, popping the hood just because all the rust that was up there. Yeah. And like, it looks so much better now. Yeah. Yeah! Where you at on your project? Let's go see. Well, I gotta sand it. This is all taken off. This just got to get sanded, but I'm going to wait because these tabs still have to dry. And I don't want to be like, you know, moving all over the place and I'm breaking them again. Yeah. So that might have to wait for a couple days. Uh, so just sand that one, sand that one. Those two over there are primer. Those just have to be sanded. 
and then reprimered, and then it's ready for paint. So, see, there's like those small little things right there. So, I gotta do is sand it, reprimer it, make sure it's nice and leveled, and then these two are ready to go. And he did buy the filler and sandable primer. Yep. So, yeah. Got some stuff done today. Yeah. Sadly, the sun's about to go down. So yeah. We're about to freeze. <laughs> <laughs> but thank God we finished for the most part. Yeah. Most of it. Before oh, yeah. the end of the day. Yo, just, it looks so much better, dude. All I see is my Acura sticker. <laughs> like, I'm standing right here. It's like flashing like orange and green at me. I see the green. Man, it looks so good. The only part that I forgot to take off and repaint was this. But I do have to get to the, I have to take the headlights off because I got some new light bulbs that I gotta throw in there. And uh, when I do that, I will take that off and paint it. Just so that everything can match and be unison. But man, I can't get over it. This shit just looks super good. Yo, for some rattle cam paint, that's pretty good. Yo, rust makes some of the best paint, dog. Yo. There's like virtually no orange peel. Yeah. And this shit is dry because it's been out for hours drying. And not only that, it got the heat gun put to it. That's why I use rust for everything. If they sponsor this, that'd be kind of nice. The, yo, what? <laughs> That would be sick. Most of the stuff I painted on my car is Russell only. If not everything. Yeah. Headlights, interior, all that stuff. Bay's coming together. I'm treating most of the freaking rust. That's sparkle, man. Yeah, that sparkle was sick. On the headlight? Oh. That's what oh. I'm talking about. Oh, that's <laughs> what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> sparkle boys. <laughs> but yeah, bay's coming together. You know, the intake's in. My strut bar's in. ABS module looks better. Most of the rust is taken care of. Now it's just putting the 3.7 manifold and my valve covers and PCDs. And I really think I wanna put an aluminum radiator in here. Even though the OEM radiator is aluminum and a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, it's, it's mad light. It's light as hell, but I think like a different aluminum radiator would just look cool. Yeah. It's probably where we're gonna end the video here. Any last words, Terry? I was gonna rev the car if that's all I want. I mean, it's on. Everybody loves a rev. Especially your loud ass. Yeah. <laughs>